Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can sign your documents or invoices in Sign Now. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account or log into our existing account at Sign Now. Once we do that, we are greeted with Sign Now um, taskbar, or as you can see, there's a lot of things that we can tweak around. We can even upgrade the plan. I'm using a free version right now. And in this taskbar, we want to go to the top corner and explore our op options. As you can see, we have inbox and outbox, documents, archive, templates, trash, document groups, document group team templates, my teams. If you want to create a team and share documents uh, between them to make it way easier to actually sign the documents that you need. API, admin console, new user pricing and integrations. As you can see straight away, you can start the integration with all those apps. There's a tons of options. But if you're really into integrations, feel free to use this page. But straight away, we want to start with the basics. First thing first, we want to upload our first document. We click on upload and I've downloaded the first uh, invoice that I got. And uh, we can prepare and send it, make a template, or we can click on those three dots and go for more. We can open it, prepare, add files and so on and so on. But we want to go with prepare and send. As you can see, the signer one, uh, let it be me. For example, now we don't need this copy, but whatever. And right now we can add the second person. For, for example, Marcus with email like this. And as you can see, you can tweak those options around with uh, gripping you or uh, your friend. For example, to signing step two. So signing step one, the signers will ask to sign first. And the second one, uh, they will get this email only when you sign uh, the first one. After all signers in pre or group sign. Or third, basically, well, works the same way. But in this, uh, in this case, let's start and let's go with uh, the both of us be in the first one. Now we can start adding fields. Straight away, we have our invoice here. And we want to start with, for example, me. We can put a signature field like this. And if you want uh, the other signature field for the other one, just click on him. As you can see, he's not blue anymore. He's orange, even the option is orange. So we click on signature field. And let's do it like this. Like this. We can also go with a text field. Like this. It will actually help you to put it in line. So it's very easy. Also text field for the other one. Like this. And also date and time field, for example. like this or it's gonna take me a minute right now you see that everything is as it should be we can save and invite people 
documents it successfully and straight away you can send invites to actually sign this uh, invoice. So, uh, we can send it at the same time or in order. For example, me first, the other one. Send invite. Like this. Now we want to go back and just a second. Oops. And we should go and check the email if we got the, um, the invoice. One second. Yeah, I'm on a different one. Sorry, this will take a minute. Yeah, we have to f wait for a second. So, uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, we can go and we can check, we can check uh, the templates. First things first, we don't have our template yet, so we have to upload my uh, first template. We want to start with, for example, the same invoice. So I'm still checking to show you how we can sign the first invoice, but it's still not going through. But let's start with the template. Let's go with this one. We can go with open. Go way down and let's, uh, for example, start with a signature field. And day, day, time. And we can save and close it and straight away when we want to go to templates we can start where we when we start well, when we stopped last time when we were doing the template we can go even to the template again we can click the view and as you can see here's time for date and signature field and you can reuse it all over again so that's one thing and I'm still trying to find out to, uh, how to sign the document. But we can also go and check our, for, for example, options, what's new, my account, how we can upgrade it. Also, you can set your signatures you can set your signatures in here uh, so you can manage it for example add a new signature that's the one that they are going to give you defaultly but we can get a new signature and you can draw it by yourself like this and you can use it set as my default phone number and all the other stuff. I'm actually very surprised that it's not working yet, but it basically, they will send you an email uh, to sign for the both of you. So that's about it. It's not a rocket science. Once you do that, you, can, uh, you will send it back 
to the owner of the sign now or you can take the owner of the sign now account and even now you can make a template out of it for example like this create a template so straight away you will have you will have this template just to start with with uh, two emails and two comps for everything so yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you on the next video